Oh, now I'm going to show you something. I have a list of toys matched. I don't buy anything at random. That's why what some people think of my basement. What I do is I make a list of my favorite shows, favorite cartoons, everything I'm nostalgic about. And I go and get those as figures. Or as memorable swords or anything else I like. Which I will review all these eventually. And this one's there and there. Okay. But. Those, and I have a list of figures that are made. And ones that are to be made. Some of the things on my list haven't even been made yet. But if they ever are. Which happened this year. They made the clerks figures. Black and white with the full background stand. Which I promptly got. I always put them on my list. And when they're made. I get them. This one that I'm going to show you was delayed repeatedly for almost a year in production because they didn't meet the pre-orders because they didn't realize how many people wanted them. Without further ado, further ado here is NECA's and ECA's Ed 209 from Robocop. Now, I know there was other Robocop Ed 209's made, but honestly, those figures I did not like. They're flat, they're boring, they didn't do much. This guy is perfect. He has rotations on the cannons. He has little wings here. Fly up. See, if you go up there, it looks like a dog ears. Anyway, see that fine grading on the top here? Nice. The good thing is, he has the missiles. So, missiles there. There's his ammo clip. The gun's fairly accurate. Like, the guys who made this put a lot of passion to it. Like, well, even the wiring on the back of the gun. Beautifully made, beautifully designed. They knew what they were doing. Same with other guns, see? Now, as for the rest of them, you see here on the sides, there's nice little nuclear symbol, radioactive symbols. There is the exhaust vents. All right, all right, let's put this links down. Then there's his legs. These are tricky. They, uh... They slide up and down, they hold on to them. These little things here don't serve any purpose, they're just for decoration. Which, when, at first glance, when you first open the box, they look like they're fasteners. They're not. They are pretty well made. So you see, I have my sticky tack here so he doesn't fly off my shelf. Uh, so, nice little struts there. And he, he, as you can see, he moves quite a bit. He moves easily, he can do it. So you can reenact the, the stairs. And the top of his head has elements of wiring. Now one of the coolest things is that little button. Now what's that little button do for you? What it does the little button do? Direct sound clips from the movie. Not remastered, not someone making them over again. They're direct sound clips from the film. I'll play the other two. And that's the sample for. Yeah. Feel good in there? That's good too. Yeah. And yeah, that, that is Ed 209. He is awkward to pose though. <laughs> Once there we go. Now now he's chicken legging up. Alright. So I'm gonna get the wheel out here so we can get a little circle of view of him.
There we go. All right, let's see. And yeah, that is NECA's Ed 209 from Robocop 1, the good one, made by NECA, of course. Again, I dropped the name again. Oh. And yeah, that's it. I, I actually love this toy. It's a great figure. It's so worth the, worth the patience for. Um, when it came out, it actually cost me 50 bucks. Not that bad compared to what I've seen go up on price on, on websites and on eBay. So... Yeah, if you like this video, like, share, subscribe. Thank you.